okay for two. It just cuts me off, y'all. I can only do a video so long and it just will. <laughs> Sorry, you're done. Okay, so. I just, I wasn't done talking. I had some more stuff to say. The other thing I wanted to say is if you're young and you've never had an animal, even if you have had an animal, do your research. You know, if you live in an apartment and you do not like to go for walks, don't get a boxer, don't get a pit bull, don't get a German shepherd, don't get high energy bird dogs. For those that are in apartments, obviously small dogs or mid to small dogs, depending on their energy level. I mean, you got to get, if it's like an aggressive breed, you especially have to make sure that you have the time to get that extra energy out of them so that they can be nicer. Just like when you're riding horses, like if you can like make it walk in circles for a while and get it like a little wore out before you ride it, it won't be so bad. You know, lunge it. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> lunge it first. Um, I'm checking a list over here because I just wanted to make sure that I got all these things in there. So I just want to make sure that you do your research. Like, you should know cats bite. Cats scratch. They do. It happens. If you own a cat, there's a real good possibility you're going to get scratched or bit. For that, you should not hurt the animal. You should not do anything to the animal. I'm just saying they're little beings of their own. I think sometimes people think of animals as toys and like, I'm going to get this dog and it's going to be there and do this and it better sit there and behave and not act like a, you know, like they want animals to act like humans and they're animals. They are animals. Even if they're little itty bitty, they're animals. I did put dresses on my little dog because she looked totally cute in them. Also, I use the pictures sometimes. I'm just saying. But, um, but I still know that she's a dog. Like she still has dog needs. You know. You know the dog butt thing. People are always like so embarrassed. Dogs are gonna do what dogs are gonna do. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. If you're like a major worry wart. I don't know, maybe a bird, but then birds make big messes too. I mean, all animals you have to clean up after. Now, I promise you, if you walk into my house and you don't see any cats, you won't know I have cats. I don't know what this thing is where people say, smell like they have cats, unless it's a situation where someone didn't get a cat fixed and they decided to mark all around their house. I get my cats fixed as soon as I can possibly get them fixed. So there's no marking going around. There's no peeing at the house. That doesn't happen. You won't know I have cats. A lot of people are like, how many cats do you have? And I tell them and they're like, where are they? Because they usually don't come out in front of strangers, right? So they'll find a place to be. But you won't know that I have them. And I use Fresh Step Litter, and I'm going to recommend that highly. I find it way better than Tidy Cat or any other cat litter I've ever used. I know there's some new ones on the market, but I have a lot of cats. I go through a lot of litter. So if it's even just a little bit pricey, can't touch it. But the Fresh Step, y'all, it's so great. Because every time they scrape it, it sends that little deodorant into the air. And keep it scooped. You know, there's people that don't pooper scoop, I know, because I cleaned a lot of houses that don't pooper scoop their litter box often enough, and yeah, that'll stink up the whole house. Don't do that. I happen to have my litter box in a laundry room, which for me is kind of like the mud room. It's where all the bad smells are, the garbage, everything is in the laundry room. And then I keep the little air fresheners in there. I'm just saying, it's not hard. And then, by the way, while we're on that, if y'all want to keep dog smell out of your house, because I go to a lot of people's houses where the whole house smells like dog. Everything smells like dog. The vacuum cleaner smells like dog when you turn it on. It's just, that's the most horrendous smell. It's almost impossible to get out of the vacuum cleaner. My dogs don't smell like that. First of all, we keep them fairly clean. Like, you can't bathe them too much because the vet will have small fits because of getting rid of their natural oils and all that kind of stuff. I've been in trouble for bathing my dogs too much, but 
So now that they get paid, I don't know, like once they get paid once every two months or so. In between, there's the stuff that I had. They have at Walmart. That's this um, dry shampoo with lavender. I'm telling y'all, just and then I use that immediately after I bathe them because I there's like no worse smell in the world to me than a wet dog, and I blow dry them because I don't want that smell anywhere. Because if a dog stinks and a dog lays on your couch or lays on your floor or lays wherever, then that smell is going to just keep carrying, and before you know it, your whole house is. Mm. So I Febreze every day, all the time, the dog bedding, everything. And y'all can make your own Febreze. I ain't about to pay no six, seven dollars a bottle for Febreze. Are you kidding me? You get whatever your favorite, favorite fabric softener is. Buy a Febreze once just so you can get the bottle. Get whatever your favorite fabric, favorite, I, 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 I swear I can talk. Get whatever your favorite fabric softener is. Pour a little bit down in the bottom of the bottle. Lay a little sprinkle of baking soda. Fill it up with water. You have Febreze. Now you can Febreze your little heart out. I Febreze their leashes. I Febreze. I'm a Febreze queen, y'all. But plus we smoke, and I don't want anything to smell like smoke. Just because I smoke doesn't mean that I like the smell of smoke. I can't stand that stuff either. So I Febreze. All the time, all the time, just saying, little like Heloise tips so your house doesn't smell like a dog. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see what else. If I were you, I would stay a virgin till you got married because it's just not even worth it, y'all. Not even worth it. It's not. Just wait till you get married. If they won't wait, then that's not the right one anyway. Um, and you know, that's mostly for girls. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, oh, don't get your teeth pulled. I'm not going to go into this really with y'all, but whenever you get one tooth pulled, the rest of them start to shift. It is no bueno. You get more than one pulled or you get pulled like in a wrong area. Do whatever you can. If you have to get a crown, if you have to get them to put some filler on that, if you have to go to a different dentist, save that tooth. I know it's way cheaper to get it pulled, which is why I ended up getting mine pulled my whole life because it's like, oh God, you know, $1,200 versus $100. But trust me, in the long run, um, ugh, don't do it. Save your teeth. I don't care if they tell you they are rotten to the core. Save them save them because I've had ones pulled and I looked at the teeth that they pulled out and those things look so wicked powerful it didn't look like they was gonna go fading away anytime soon I don't understand I don't know I just just please just save them save them oh let's see what else do 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 Um, if you can do nothing else, like, you know, you wind up, thank God I've never had an acne situation, but I have done construction and gotten like, you know, you filthy and been like too tired to get in the shower that night. So just if you absolutely are exhausted or drunk or whatever it is, at least get your face clean with alcohol, rubbing alcohol. It's like 90 cents or a dollar or something. Just always keep some alcohol in your bathroom because if you wipe your face with alcohol, you will be amazed at what comes, even after you wash it. Wash it with whatever your favorite stuff is. Then do it with alcohol and see what happens. You're still going to get more stuff off of there. So if you have any problems at all, wash your face with alcohol morning, afternoon, night, as often as you can. Get them oils out. Just saying it's a cheap way to get your face really clean. Um, uh, 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 uh. I always use white towels. Why? Because I can bleach them. Especially doing hair. I don't know if y'all know about splat hair color, but that stuff is vicious. It just barely touches your skin and sticks. Like my whole goal when I color my hair is not to get it on my scalp so I don't have some big red 
patch on my scalp or, you know, I had, I, I touched my arm the other day when I was doing it and I had red on my arm for days. What you can do before you color your hair is get a pumice stone because that'll help get the color off your skin. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, um, before you color your hair, you can use Vaseline intensive care or like coconut oil and put that all around the edges and like I put it on my ears and on my neck over here because that's where the hair color hits when I'm doing it and you know that way when the hair color does smack that area at least when you get in the shower it's going to come off because you've moist moisturized already and I would say moisturize your hands too so it doesn't stick in the little cracks um, bleach is my friend I know y'all are some a chemical sensitive. I'm sorry. I'm not talking to y'all. Talking to the other people. The other ones. I like everything white because I can bleach it and I can see that it's clean. You know, like my tables, my doors, my switch plates, you know, all that kind of stuff. My coffee table, I painted white so that I could see that when it, you know, when it's dirty. And then I thought about all the people that have those really dark wooded coffee tables. You just can't, you have no idea what's on there, what the germs might be like, because you can't see. But that's why I like white. I'm a germ freak. I'm always doing my doorknobs and my switch plates. I mean, if anybody ever breaks into this house, not that they would have to be in such bad shape. I've always said, if you have to break in, you must need it way worse than I do. Like, cause I'm like down there on the ladder, right? So if you're even worse off than me, then God bless you. I guess you needed whatever it is. Um, let's see what else. If you keep things clean, they'll last longer. That's, you know, for your showers, for your cars, for your windows for your houses, vanities, anything. I've seen so many things ruined, especially windows. Uh, windows in chrome, like once they get spotted, if you just let them stay like that, then eventually they will stay like that. You won't be able to get them clean anymore. So keeping things clean makes them last so much longer. Um, and if you don't want to keep it clean, just hire somebody. If I could hire me, I would hire me in a heartbeat, but I can't afford me right now, <laughs> and I can't be me right now, because my back, hi, if you haven't met me, I'm Rhonda, got a little disability situation going on right now, full-time in college, going to start tomorrow, oh my goodness, if y'all want to see my art, it's on Instagram, Rhonda Mills, 67, and um, I think I'm going to end it there. I just wanted to catch up on all that little stuff. And give y'all just like some little tidbits of advice that nobody ever told me. Don't work too hard. Work smart. Don't work hard. And y'all have a blessed Sunday. God bless every single one of you. Bye, y'all.